Oh, hi. With these videos, I'm going to be showing you how to design, make, and test your CO2 and test. So your goal is you want to make the fastest car. The fastest car will set the grade at the A+, work our way down from there. Much like the high jump in track. Whoever jumps the highest gets the blue ribbon. We're also going to draw a side and a top view orthographically. In art class, they call it still life. For us, you're going to draw exactly what you see from the side and exactly what you see looking down on the car or your top view. We're also going to create a car from foam, which will be our prototype, and then we'll create our racing car, which will be made out of balsam wood. We're going to do some science and some math with this. So the math part will be where you calculate the speed of the car. If everyone gets the same time, if everyone gets the same time, all right, some things we're going to discuss in class the next day. What will affect the speed of your car? How will you get your car faster than the others? Because you're using the same wood, you're using the same CO2, you're using the same wheels, you're using the same axle. So how is your car going to be different than the others? How do we find the speed of a car or the speed of a fastball or the speed of a race car? Well, a lot of times you're used to measuring speed in miles per hour. Because our racetrack is only 50 feet long, our track is going to figure out feet per second. With the feet per second, we're then going to calculate miles per hour, so it gives us a little bit more of an understanding. So here's where the math comes in. Like I just mentioned, our track is 50 feet long. We're going to race from where our drill presses are, we're going to move some equipment and some tables out of the way, then we're going to go clear across the shop to where the double doors are in the shop. But don't worry, I'll put some pillows and some uh, foam there so it'll catch your fast car. You need to know how many feet equal a mile, how many seconds are in a minute, and how many minutes are in an hour. If you look down here at the bottom, okay, on your notes, your numbers are missing. So our racetrack is 50 feet. And let's say that your car went one second flat. Uh, that could be... Um, the case. We do have some cars that go over a second. We do have some cars that go under a second. Our fastest car right now is under a half of a second. So they can move very fast. We've got where one mile equals 5,280 feet, 60 seconds is always a minute, and 60 minutes is always an hour. So what things can you cross cancel here? Well, if you cross cancel words and not numbers, then we can come up with going from feet per second found here to our miles per hour, which we're going to find out. So we can cross cancel feet here and here. We can cross cancel the word seconds here and the word seconds here. And we can cross cancel the words minutes here and minutes here. Now we're left with miles over hours, which is the same thing as saying miles per hour. When we do our multiplication, 50 times 1 times 60 times 60, we end up with 180,000. And when you do the math, 1 times 5,280 times 1 times 1, you get 5,280. Very good. So now we simply take the top, divide it by the bottom, 180,000 divided by 5,280, and you get... 34.09 repeating miles per hour. So your car just went 34.09 miles an hour. You could get a ticket for that because that's going faster than you're allowed to go in a school zone. All right, so the science part of this project is what kind of engine are you guys using? Well, we're all using CO2 cars. So we're all using carbon dioxide, pressurized carbon dioxide found in little cartridges. So we're all using these little CO2 cartridges, like this. Okay? And then it goes in the back of your car. So you've got a car built, and it goes in the back of your car, like this. You've got wheels, okay? And then we puncture it with what looks like a nail, and a hammer hits the nail, and punctures it, and then it goes fast. So essentially what you're doing is you are building a rocket car or a rocket engine. And rocket engines are referred to as reaction engines. And Newton's third law of motion...
tells us that for every action, there's an opposite to the reaction with our drawing down here. The action is the fuel goes one way, the rocket goes the other. The action here is the CO2 goes one way, the car goes the other. All right, so your first part of business is we're going to be designing and getting in the design process. So you guys are going to do thumbnail drawings first, and then you're going to do a design on paper, and then we're going to do a prototype or a foam model in our wood. Thumbnail drawings are just doodles or sketches. I'd like you to do five thumbnail drawings, just whatever you think you want your car to look like. Uh, your thumbnail drawings can be as big as your thumb. Uh, they can be as big as a piece of paper. I just want you right now to just get thinking about how you want your CO2 car to look and then bring that to class and we'll have uh, some discussions on uh, answering the previous questions you saw earlier in this video but also uh, maybe some discussions on what might help your car go faster.